Hey, it's Bill DeWeese, pro voice talent and voiceover career coach. And today I thought it would be a good idea to get back to basics. I'm a fundamentals kind of guy, back to VO101. And today's video is entitled, What You Gotta Know About VO. And there's several things that you need to understand. And once you understand, align, execute, then the potential is absolutely amazing. But if you don't put these pieces together uh, and you don't follow these four suggestions I'm going to give you, then building a voiceover career will be next to impossible. So let me give you what you got to know about VO. First of all, you've got to develop performance skills. I'm sure that seems obvious enough. Unfortunately, that's where most people stop. Now, you certainly, that's where you start. And when you get behind the microphone, you've got to know what to do. But that in and of itself, I don't care how talented you are, is not enough. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on number one, except to say that, yeah, you've got to develop the skills and you can learn those skills. It's absolutely learnable, but it is not enough. So let's move on to the other things you have to know. Number two, you need great audio. I was um, talking to a client the other day who was doing uh, seemingly all the right things and talented guy and uh he just wasn't getting any work and i said let me listen to your audio boom that was the problem your audio that you record has to be clean what do i mean by that well it needs to be it needs to be quiet a very quiet space where you have a low noise floor meaning when somebody listens they really can't hear anything else going on aside from your voice the space that you're, you record in needs to be acoustically treated. And there's a number of ways to do that. Of course, I'm, I'm in a booth that has um, really good acoustic foam, which helps. It's not the only way to do it. There are, there are even shoestring ways to do it using, for instance, moving blankets. And there, there are other ways as well. And I go into more detail in other, in other videos. But the, uh, the, the audio or the space in which you record needs to be acoustically treated well to produce good, good audio. Um, the other thing is it needs to be properly processed if you process your audio. And what I mean is, uh, if you find it necessary to do anything else to the audio after recording, sometimes people need to EQ their audio for it to sound good and competitive. Um, and most people do because it depends on your voice. It depends on the microphone that you use. Um, but it needs to be processed properly with equalization, uh, perhaps some compression. And that's something, of course, that, that you can learn about. But unless your audio sounds very good, it doesn't matter how talented you are, you're not going to get hired. So that's number two. Number three, you need solid demo material. Remember, your primary goal is looking for opportunities. Opportunities are gained by being found. People have to find you, first of all. Then they have to hear you. And when they hear that demo material, it needs to let them know of your capabilities and what you're able to deliver. And it needs to be packaged well. Just like I love to use the home shopping analogy, when you're shopping for a house, that house needs to, to look fresh, updated, painted, well-maintained. Same thing, you know, with your, with your demo material. It needs to sound current, well-produced, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because it's going to be based on what they hear from that demo, whether they're going to give you the opportunity for an audition or not. So uh, make sure you've got solid demo material. And finally, uh, is a marketing plan. So you've got, you know, you've got skills, you've got great audio, you've got great demos. Now what? Well, people will not automatically line up at your door to hire you. You've got to go out and find those people. So having an effective marketing plan and executing that plan is absolutely essential. And when you do that, when you have all four of those cylinders going, um, that's when good things are going to happen. And if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to put a link down below this YouTube video. And I would invite you to go there, buildaweeslive.com, and you'll be given the opportunity to watch a free training video. It's about 50, 52 minutes long, where I go into detail about being found, how to get found, how to get heard, how to get hired. And uh, you're going to learn a lot of really great things that you can do that are very, you know, simple for you to do right there at home to make sure that, again, you're, you're hitting all of these cylinders properly, that your audio sounds good, that you're developing the skills, that you've got some solid demo material, and that you have a good marketing plan and know where to go to get in front of the right people who make decisions. Um, so, hey, I wish you the best. I just want to make sure that you are on the right path and you're not wasting time, energy, and money in places and strategies that will absolutely take you nowhere. So this is about getting you there, getting there efficiently, 
uh, and uh, as quickly as possible. So again, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you'll like it, share it, subscribe, check out the training video by hitting the link below, and we'll talk to you soon.